hello good morning in this video we are going to show you guys how to set up your iv set on this infusion pump and then how to also delete the data after being used as you can see just like the illustrator in this video that's how you're going to open your uh, infusion pump and then try to make sure that the iv set is aligned very well in the uh space provided without being stranded or you know getting folded anywhere and then make sure that there is no air bubbles along the line otherwise it won't work because there will be because there is a sensor there that detects air bubbles and for, as such it will not work if there is air bubbles so now that we have finished setting up the iv uh set what we do now is that let's close the device and then we will move over to the operation way where how you can operate it how you can set the uh flow rate and rest of the things so now we have already finished inserting our iv line now we are going to show you guys now the first thing is is that you have to click the flow rate now let's say you want to deliver 500 and then the next thing is you go to the next one which is the delivery volume now delivery volume simply means if i want to deliver uh, a drip of let's say 500 ml into a patient and i don't i just want 250 not 500 now the total delivery volume is going to be set to 500 ml so and uh and then now we have the total delivery volume uh the total delivery volume as you can see from the screen uh which is the last uh, row is what uh, is being delivered let's say you gave it to the you gave it the uh instruction to deliver 500 ml and let's say it stopped then it, it once it's reached 500 ml it will stop and then because that's the instruction you gave it so now how to delete the data after use as you can see from the screen there is a delete button you click it and then you click the parameter you click it again and then you click the parameter you want to delete then now after doing that as you can see let me click the uh, volume then now if you want to delete the volume delivered you have to press delete and then you 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 have to press the total volume and then hold the delete button for at least two seconds and then you can see now it is deleted so that's all thank you so much